this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is part number four of the <laughs> Sister Challenge. This is myself and my sister Nettie. Hello. We're opening doors. And oh, you were to close it again. <laughs> you missed it. And closing them again. You didn't have your dinner. Oh no. Listen to this. <laughs> That's your belly rumbling. Come on, you need to stop your belly rumbling Because it sounds really weird <laughs> There you go, you got five pieces of steak If you go and grab that There you go, you don't need to eat it now if you don't want But basically whenever you get hungry You eat that and it'll put your hunger up in it Steak's good, steak puts up a lot of hunger I think it's about four, so you don't really need it yet But okay. you have that at hand uh, But what our first goal of the day is Is to go and get you some iron And so we need to go mining Down and you can dig down wherever you want, but digging straight down is dangerous because you could dig into lava or googlies or all sorts of things. So it's best to find a natural cave. And so let's go for a, a bit of a wander. So yeah, go go for a wander. I mean, don't go too far. You don't want to lose track of where your house is, but we want to basically find the start of a cave, basically a hole in the ground. And so far, you've done amazing at falling down holes in the <laughs> ground, so I have, I have full faith in your, your ability to fall down. Look, there's a squid. Do you see the squid in the water? You see it down there? Yeah. Am I... Will it kill me? Let's find out. Get your sword ready. No, really? Well, just just hold it, just in case it smells you. Because it, squirt, it squirts ink. So, so it can kill. It cover the. We'll see. It, it does. Can go. it kill if I'm underwater? It's more like <laughs> it's more effective in water than out of water. <laughs> go on, just go swim past it. Go on, just look look at its face. As long as it's the mouth bit is. Oh no! Don't hold a, hold a, hold a, hold a, hold a. Okay, you you drown. So don't uh. go underwater too much. You could have told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, things seem so obvious. Like, go, go, go look at the squid. I'm scared now. Where is it? Where's the squid? You, if you kill it, you get an ink sack. Down there. Right, I'd get a, a, a breath if you're going down first. Maybe this just isn't a good idea. Right, swim, 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 swim. Good. Okay, okay I'll, I'll just get out of the water if I was you. Okay. Watch out, a squid's got your leg! <laughs> 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 okay, let's head on. I can see there's like a sheep right on the top of one of the mountains over there. You're actually heading to a swamp. There's a bit of a swamp over to your to your right over there. Uh, you can probably get some mushrooms from there. Oh, and there's lava directly ahead of you. Okay, don't touch that. See that, that stuff there? That, that ain't baked beans. You stay <laughs> away from that lava, okay? okay? That is not where you want to go. That's why you don't dig straight down, because there could be okay. pockets of lava all over so the place. So we're going up here? Yeah, head, we're head wherever you want. There's, there's more coal if you want to gather some coal. This is... We're going a bit more free rain now. We're going to we're gonna do some improv Minecrafting we're going to do. I'm going to break coal with my sword. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm crazy. Just because <laughs> why not? Pa pass me, pass me those rules. Can you pass me those rules? Shh, ripping them up, ripping up the rules. We're gonna do what we want. <laughs> oh, you can't make me stand still. I'm all over the place. Look at me, you're fidgeting. <laughs> I'm gonna stare myself in the face as I mine. You're there just holding a little pocket mirror, just looking at yourself in the eye as you mine. <laughs> you can look up and down as well. Okay, I mean, you probably don't need much more coal. I mean, you can make a few more torches. It's good to... What a good thing to do is when you go mining is to leave a trail of torches. So that way you can okay. find... So then it means that mobs won't spawn behind you and also you can find your way back. It's like leaving like a trail of breadcrumbs, I guess. Yeah. And so you can gather up a bit more coal to make a few more torches. And uh, then we can go and try and find the entrance of a cave. And if we don't, we can, can kind of just dig our way down anywhere, make a little staircase. Like you can... Norm there's, there's normally either strip mining where you like just dig in big long rows, which is really boring but effective, or there's just the the spelunker mining where you where you just go, just go down a cave and just see what you're gonna get. So if you go for a wander for a bit, you've probably got enough stone now. You don't you don't need to do anything with the stone. <laughs> Uh, so if you go go around the corner around there and just see if we can see the start to a cave. And if there's any anim animals in your way, you can try and take them out to get some food. Uh, you are getting a bit hungry, by the way, if you did want to did wanna try some steak. steak. Uh, Let me know what cool. you think about it. Nom, 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 nom. There you go. Let's put your hunger up to four. Yeah. So you've got four more of them. And you don't want to run out of hunger because otherwise your health doesn't go up. So if you look to the right a bit and head in that direction, uh, hopefully there's going to be a start to a cave. Maybe to the left in that mountain, is there a... No, oh, it's not really a swap. My thing. It's not really a good 
cave opening around here. I guess if you go for a wand, I mean, you don't want to go too far from your house. I guess if you look in that area, but it is good to find just, you generally just find like a, like a, a cave entrance and they, some of them go right deep down to the bottom of the world. So you can kind of just follow them down. But I guess we go for a bit of explore. Be good to come across a, a dog as well. I remember we found one the other day in a different direction. It's always good to have a dog uh, accompanying you. Or well, maybe this way, maybe down to the left there. Oh, well, here we go. Is there, is there anything? No, I think it's more just big walls of mountains. Quite a cool place though, actually. Hmm. You could maybe go through that way. Be careful though, because it's getting a bit dark. So there is a chance there might be some googlies around the place. <laughs> oh, actually down. Is there a start of a cave down underneath that gravel? Or is that just one block? Like down to your left a bit? Like If you look left, it's like, is there down to your left? Is that the start of a cave or is that just, I don't know, I think it's just one dark block there. Okay, don't worry. If you mine just a block there, then you can jump your way up and maybe have a look through here somewhere. So you want to use the, the pickaxe to destroy the stone. There we go. Nope, nothing behind there. <laughs> but if you go to your right, if you just break one block uh, there, then you can just go and jump up. So you can make your own little staircase and have a look through here. A little bit of a cave. It's <laughs> well, there we go. That's what we're after. See directly ahead of you? Uh, okay. That that looks a bit more promising. Maybe. Oh, there's a mushroom in it. There's a red mushroom. Can you eat it? Not raw. If you have a well, if you if you combine a red and a brown mushroom together, you can make mushroom stew. You may need to make a little wooden bowl, then you put the mushrooms in, and you can have a bit of mushroom stew. Ooh, I'm getting everything. In the <laughs> oh, no. There's just gonna be one mushroom in the middle of the air. Okay, there we go. You got the mushroom, and oh, here we go. Right, get some torches. And you want to place them on the ground as you go so you can see where you're going. So I, I'd make a whole load more now, actually. So if you press X, so you need to make some wooden planks. And then from the wooden planks, you make sticks. So there we go. Make a few wooden planks, maybe a few more. And then go make some sticks. You can make quite a lot of sticks. And then you want to go uh, across, press uh, right bumper I've once. I've got no more wooden planks. Uh, you got you got some normal wood on okay. you, though, so you can make some more. So if you go right once... And then there you go. If you go right twice and then go press down one, there you go. Now press A a few times. You make some torches with the coal. You'll be able to make loads of these. And so there you go. You've got 30, 42. Uh, that's probably enough. You've got 46. There we go. That'd be enough. You've got 50 torches on you. So if you press B, so you can go around and just place them on the floor. So that way you're going to be able to find your way back out afterwards. We have no idea. This might not go anywhere, but it might go down really deep. We have no idea. So we just want to be careful. Because remember, the googly spawn in the dark and it's very dark down here. Oh, I think it's going to go down a bit. All right, just be careful watching your step. I don't even know if this is going to be the start of a cave. You just keep walking through. Oh, no, I think this might be a dead end, actually. Or does it carry on going? No, nope, this is just a dead end. Okay, false alarm. <laughs> this is what an entrance to a cave could look like. All right, if you just go for a wand around Can I then... take the torches back? Or... Yeah, you can grab the torches back. Like, I normally don't bother, but <laughs> you can do. You can, you can make them then pretty easily. We, we want to try and find a cave before it's before it's dark though. So if you kind of just walk around the world a bit quicker Is and that, try and... Oh, that's, that's where, where you came you from. from. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe head off in this direction. I think because there's quite a lot of mountains here. I don't know whether you're going to find one. Uh, maybe down here somewhere. I mean, if you sort of just keep looking around <laughs> as you walk. <laughs> you found a hole. <laughs> if you just look down and then just jump and press left trigger when you've got dirt. So when, when, when holding dirt. Then, then you can jump and just place it. Then you'll be able to jump up. So jump left trigger. Jump, whoop, there we go. Then you can jump your way up here. Oh yeah, that's a way to pile up. <laughs> How high are you going? You only needed to do one. <laughs> and then maybe go down to the right and have a look around that way. Getting worried we're not going to be able to find a way home. Oh, here we go. Oh, look down there, down there, down to the right. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's, is this Ooh. the same one? No, but I don't think it's going very deep though. I think I can see daylight on the, the other side. <laughs> Ooh, does it go? Ooh, does it I oh, I think oh, that I'm might scared. be iron. I think that might be iron. Okay, put down a torch. Put down a torch. I, I don't think... know how... Um... You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just put down a torch. Don't panic. The one thing... Actually, that's no, not... I don't think that is iron. I think that's just... Uh... Okay, nothing down oh, here. Why did ah, you do ah, that? Ah, ah. I was totally saying it's iron. Nothing bad. <laughs> that's what we're after. Okay, right. Keep wandering. Keep wandering the land. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make your way up. Well, the best way to walk is if you just hold forward and then use the right analog stick to turn. So then you can just be constantly walking forward and then just turning left and right. That's kind of the easiest way. And then you press A to jump when you you Is need to. Okay, maybe we could. There might be one to the left there. Maybe I don't know how. I don't know how deep any of these these caves are going. To be honest, you normally find them them all over the place, but we're <laughs> we're wandering around the world quite slowly right now. You don't need to bother piling up. You can just go around another route if you want. 
Oh. So save some of your dirt in case you need it later. If you just go around, you'll, there'll be a route off. It is it's getting dark now, though, so we either want to commit to a cave now or go go home and sleep. Oh. Do you even know where the house is anymore? Because no. I'm starting to lose track. Let's see if there's a start of a cave down here. Oh, look down. This might be good. Ah, maybe. Have a look down this way for a bit. The thing is, it doesn't matter if it's night if you're in a cave anyway, because whenever okay. it's going to be dark, so it kind of doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for some eye, and it looks kind of... A bit orangey. It looks a bit like coal, but kind of more orangey, yellowy. And so that's what we're looking for. So you want to try and spot some of that. So if you go left, here we go. Okay, watch your step now. There can be ravines and big drops and all sorts down here. So there's going to be googlies as well. When you see one, and you will see one, you're not going to panic. You're going to step back and switch to your sword and keep swinging, okay? okay? That's the battle plan. Is that a waterfall? Yeah, that's a waterfall. What happens if I go in the waterfall? You'll get pushed down. That's fine. We, 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 want, we want to go down. Okay. Oh, no, that's acid. Ah. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so Hold you... <gasps> it's fine. So it's like like foot deep. If you want to be looking ahead of you, look, look left. You want to be making sure... That's it. You're Isn't not going that it? Have you found some? I think that's just dirt. Do you want to put a torch down? No. Oh, is this the end of the cave? Do you want to have a look around? Oh, no, is this the end of the cave? Right, have a look at the other direction. I think we can make, maybe go off the other way. You're going to have to try and push your way through the, the water now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Very grand. <laughs> again, push back again. Come on, lean forward. Come on. I think maybe up to the left there's a place you can go. If you try, try and jump up out of the water somewhere around here. <laughs> okay, you want to try and head up that direction. If you want to try and remember how I told you how to pile out with dirt. If you try and do that to maybe get up top there what, somewhere. Out, out of the water. Yeah, up to your left there. There was a place. If I let go, I'll fall. it's just going to push you into a wall. So you can switch to the. <laughs> so if you switch to your dirt. Then you can place that down. Oh, actually, maybe down there to the left. Can you see that there, actually? Yeah. Maybe, KK, just, so just sprint and jump. So remember, tap double forward and then jump and see if you can jump over the water. Ooh, there we go. You got across it. There we go. You can carry on going down this way. Here we go. We're getting into cave proper now. This is, this is, think of this as training as well for when you get, um, when you have to go for the, the diamonds as well, the final challenge. Yeah. So yeah, keep, keep, keep going forward. Just keep an eye out for any googlies because it is very dark down here. Keep placing torches as you go. Oh, here we go. Is that it? That's iron. That is exactly what you need. Be careful, though, because there are dark caves around here. So we don't want to get attacked. Maybe put a torch up to your right somewhere before you go and mine it. Just so. And then have a little look around just to make sure there's nothing there. Look down a bit. There we go. It's a dead end. We're safe. We can now go. There's a hole there. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Okay. Nothing's going to. Like tentacles not going to come out or anything. You got iron! Yeah. And so we need, overall, we need nine pieces of this. I doubt there's going to be nine here, but if you get your pickaxes, which is what you need, and you need a stone Ooh. pickaxe to do this, a wooden one wouldn't do. So you've got one, two, there seems to be quite a lot. There's, there's more on the, the ceiling as well you're going to be able to gather up. And Ooh. so the reason we need this is to make buckets. And then we use the buckets to, to milk the sheep. So we need this to, to make the cake. But also iron's very good for making tools and armor. You can make iron tools, which are way better uh, than the than the stone ones. And you actually need an iron pickaxe before you uh, you mine the diamond. So let's see how many pieces you've got. Uh, you've got four so far. And I think there's two ahead of you. So you've got six pieces, which means you only need three more. So if you just walk forward and you can pick it up. I'll just... get rid of that block so you get slower. There you go, just walk forward. There you go. You've got seven pieces. Was there any more? Okay, you only need two more pieces now, then. And then you've got okay. uh, enough iron to, to make a cake. <laughs> when you think of ingredients of a cake, you don't think of iron. You don't actually put the iron into it. But that you can't do anything with that iron yet. That's iron ore. You need to smelt it first. Any idea how you do that? You've done something very similar before. Put it in the furnace. Put it in the furnace. So you just do it exactly the same as if you were cooking some beef. And uh, that's how you make some iron ingots. So uh, you can either... Uh, we might as well carry on. While we're in the cave, we might as well carry on exploring. Just because cause it's going to be night time now anyway. And because we're in this deep, we might as well go and try and get all the iron you need. Should so we just keep digging? Yeah, you can. What you could do is you could stairway dig down. Because there's, more, there's the chance of getting better stuff the deeper you go. So if you kind of look okay. down a little bit... And then hold right trigger. Then it will kind of dig a staircase. No, just, 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 just stay looking down. No, look down a bit more. There you go. Then just don't adjust your aim and just move forward. Just slowly move forward. And then it, it will keep sort of digging down. So you just need to keep the aim in the same place. And you're going to dig a little staircase down. Your pickaxe is going to break at some point soon. But then we can make a new one. That's it. Just keep going Should down do like torches? that. 
yeah, put down torches so you can see where you're going. And you should eventually... Uh, you want to make sure you don't dig down two blocks in a row, though. So you want to, you need to keep moving forward as, as yeah, you go. Okay. Then you make a little staircase. So put a torch down so you can see what you're doing. And uh, be careful not to dig straight into lava. If you do see any light coming, you want to immediately jump back. Because that normally means there's lava. So if you go forward a bit... Oh, oh. <laughs> it's fine, you can leave the torch there. It's fine, you'll break it in a sec anyway. And so you've done... So you want to go and place a block down there. Maybe just place some stone down there. Just Otherwise you're going to have trouble. Because you, remember, you've got to come back out yeah. this way. Don't... That's iron. <laughs> you can put dirt down there if you want. So if you go right one, there you go. Oh no. Oh. Press left trigger. Sorted. Then you can carry on digging down. And so hopefully we're just going to come across some iron just by doing this. Like you can see you've already found some coal there, which you don't really need, but you can gather it if you want. Uh, but yeah, if we keep doing this, we should hopefully uh, either come across a, a natural cave uh, or some, some more iron. So literally just keep hold down right trigger and just slowly move forward. Just keep slowly, gradually moving forward. And then it will just do a nice little gradual staircase. There we go. You're mining. Yeah. This is your first ever mining trip in Minecraft. And oh, there goes your pickaxe. Oh. <laughs> And it was going so well. So put down a torch so you can see what you're doing. There you go. Right. This is all on you now. You're in the you're in the middle of a cave. You've got no crafting table. You need to make a stone pickaxe. How are you going to do it? What's the first step? Remember what we did all at the very beginning on the first episode? Made all the wooden ones. Okay, so you have got wood on you. But you can make... You've got enough stone to make a stone pickaxe. Do I make another table? Yep, so you're going to have to make a new table down here. So you need four wooden planks to make the table. So if you press X, so and then if you just press uh, A once on the, the wooden planks, that will make oh. four of them. That's it. Then go to the crafting table, just like you were doing. There you go. You've got a crafting table. So press B. You get rid of the, the menu. Then you want to place down the crafting table anyway. and just plonk it right behind you. Uh, you're going to pick it back up in a second oh. anyway. Now you can put it like right, 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 right where you were looking. Just turn around. Yeah, just put it right there. That's, that's a mushroom. <laughs> and you press the wrong button. <laughs> so go along to the crafting table. <laughs> then press left trigger. There we go. You've got a crafting table. So a little bit in your... I don't know how you would use that crafting table. It's a bit of an awkward position. But if you press left trigger, then you want to make yourself a, another stone pickaxe. There you go. Done. So now, now you can gather up the, the crafting table again. So now you've, cool. you can just carry that around in your pocket. And so whenever you need to craft something, you can just plonk it down. So do I chop it? Yeah, you can chop it. You're supposed to use the axe, but pick pickaxe will do the job eventually. <laughs> it's not the most efficient way. And then you can carry on digging down. The way it works with tools is the better the tool, the longer it lasts. So wooden tools don't last long at all. Stone a bit longer, okay. then iron, and then di you can make diamond tools, which is the best tools you can have, which is why diamonds are, are so good. Mm -hmm. But if you use a tool in the wrong way, so say if you use a pickaxe to cut down a tree, that destroys it as well. So you want to make sure you use okay. the right tool. And hello! Hello, hello, hello. Stuff? Hello, hello, hello. To the right, that, that's dirt. To the right. Oh, yeah. Look, right there. You already need two more pieces, and how many pieces are right in front of you? Two. Look at that! There we go. That's exactly. I think that's exactly what we needed. Or there might be some more behind. Look, there's some. There's some spare here as well. This is good. So you can make yourself. Um, we we'll see how much spare you get. You can make yourself an iron sword or like an iron Ooh. pickaxe. So that's going to be handy. There you go. So you can go and gather all of that up as well. And we can see. We can maybe even make some some iron armor. Some mm -hmm. iron boots is always my favorite thing. Some silver boots always look very fashionable. You know. Oh, oh <gasps> stop! 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 Okay. That iron's lost. We do not want to go hunting for that iron. There's a cave down there, probably full of googlies and a big drop. You see why it could be dangerous now? Yes. If you, if you died now, all of the stuff you've got <laughs> would be pretty much lost, okay? Because you'd have to find your way back down here. So you've done it. You've had your first successful mining trip. You've got all of the iron that we need to make some buckets and then some. Congratulations. Yay. Is it still night time though? Do it, I do it, not want to go outside? Yeah, it's probably a, just about to become day, but we've just about run out of time in this episode here now anyway. So in the next episode, <laughs> we're going to go full on cakey bakey time, okay? So we've Yay. got we've got all the mining done that we need to bake the cake, and so we're going to set up a wheat farm, we're going to get some eggs and get some sugar as well, and okay. then we can make a make a Nettie's cooking kitchen Yay. next to Netting's, Nettie's crafting corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So that's the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you all later. Bye!